Welcome back to the channel. So this is another update on the Pal Cent accounts that I am running. So today is Wednesday the 9th of November and I thought I'd bring you an update because yesterday was such a mad day and I wanted to show you exactly what happened to me and what I'll be doing moving forward. So basically for those who don't know, yesterday which was Tuesday the 8th of November, it was the 2022 midterm elections in the US and there was a huge rally on gold and unfortunately on one of my accounts we were in some cells when this happened and I've heard that it did cause a few people to lose their account. It was a rare day, but it was a bad day. So I was actually running two cent accounts with the Pal Bank at EA. The first one we're looking at here was a $3,000 cent account, which I was running at a bit higher risk. We were opening trades at a 0.1. Now, unfortunately, this account did blow and I did lose my $3,000 that was in the cent account, which can happen. It's one of those things. I'm absolutely fine with it. As I say, it is quite a rare thing yesterday that gold did what it did, but you can see the trades that we were taking there. So we were in some cells. The highest lot size we got to was at a 50 and we did actually take three 50s. And I was watching it going down and I knew that eventually it would just blow. And that's what happened. But like I say, these things do happen and I'm okay with it. So as well as the bigger lot sizes, another reason why this is a higher risk account is because I was not running the news filter at all. So basically, if any news came out, I was still in trade and trading as normal. So obviously that isn't recommended at all. But because it was a bigger account, I thought I might be able to absorb some of the moves. Because as I say, we did have 300,000 cents to trade with. But that didn't happen. The moves were just too big and we did take bigger lot sizes and we were stopped out. The good thing is that my $1,000 account is still live and we are still running. Okay then, so let's have a look at how the $1,000 account got on. Now, luckily we did manage to survive on this account. The reason for that is obviously with the EA's built-in news filter, I was running a news filter on this account. Now, before any news comes out, the EA does like to close all trades. Sometimes it can take a little while to do this because it does try and close in profit. Now, unfortunately, we were in some cells when the news came out, but luckily I did manage to close those cells in a little bit of a loss. But overall, we did manage to save the account. So you can see those cells there that we got into, our biggest lot size being at 29.56. And as I say, I did manually close those cells. So overall for the day, we were down 26,500, which is $285. Now before that, we were actually up on the account around $300. So unfortunately that profit was wiped out with the losses. But as I say, we did manage to save the account. So we're currently at $1,007. As you can see, I have reduced the lot size to a 0.01 and I'll probably keep it this way just until the end of the week. Because of all the madness that's going on, I'd rather try and keep hold of the account and just make a little bit of profit rather than push it a bit more and potentially blow the account. So if we look at today's profit, you can see it's a very small amount of profit being made. But I'm okay with that until the markets have calmed down a little bit. So as I say, we have changed the lot size to a 0.01. That's the only thing I've changed. Obviously, we are still running a news filter which is important, particularly at this time. And we will continue to trade with this cent account. I am still on a journey to try and get it to $10,000. If you do have any questions at all, please just let me know in the comments. And thanks very much for watching.